Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Emacs frames, buffers, and windows and how to switch between them very quickly and easily. I also have a blog post if you prefer written format, so be sure to check that out by clicking the link in the description and be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you inside. The first thing we'll talk about is Emacs frames. And a frame is equivalent to a window and other programs. So it's kind of a little confusing. Uh, but So we have here a terminal window. It's the entire circumference of the program. And then over here, we've got what you would normally call a window. It's actually called a frame. So this whole thing is the Emacs frame. And you can see that the cursor is over here in this frame right here. And so if you want to open a new frame, you'd press and hold Control X and then let go and press five and then two. And that will open up a new frame. And so you can see that the cursor is now uh, over in this window rather than this window. And so we'll go ahead and go into Diard just to see the difference. But so you can see I'm able to move my cursor up and down in this window, or I mean this frame, I'm sorry. So if you want to switch between them, you would press Control X, 5, and the letter O. And now you can see that this frame over here is selected. So again, switching is Control X, 5, O. And then you're in a different frame. And then Control X, 5, 2 opens a new, win new frame. So now we've got three frames. And if you want to close the frames, you press Control X, 5, 0. So Control X, 5, 0 oh, to switch. Control X, 5, 0 to close. Control X, 5, 2 to open. An Emacs window is easiest to explain with an example. So I'll just show you. So to create a new Emacs window, you type control X two, and that will open up another window in a vertical up and down fashion. So we've got two windows here. And so if you want, there's also another way to open up a new window and that is with control X three. And that will open up another window in a horizontal or side by side fashion. So we can see we have three windows inside of one frame. And so that's basically the difference. So we've got, right now we're looking at six windows and three and two frames. So we've got one frame and another frame over here. And then we've got six different windows. To switch between windows, you press Control X O, and that's basically how you do it. It's that simple. Control X O, Control X O. You can see my cursor going around in circles by pressing Control X O, and you'll notice that it doesn't switch over to the other windows in a different frame, and that's because it it is specific to the the current frame. So if you want to switch over to these uh, windows, you'll have to switch over to that frame first. And again, the frame is Control X 5 O, and then Control X O, Control X O, Control X O will will switch you around in these windows over here. When you are done with a window, you want to get rid of it. All you have to do is type Control X zero and control X zero will get rid of that frame, a window, sorry. It'll get rid of that window. And then if you want to get rid of the entire frame, you can press again, control X five zero, and that will get rid of them. The last thing we'll talk about is buffers. And so right now we have three wind or well, three windows open in this frame and one window open in this frame. And so I'm just gonna dis explain or do it. So it, when you type information, you'll notice that the text is being entered in every single one of these windows. 
And the reason that is is because they're all sharing the same buffer. And a buffer is essentially what holds the contents and information of a file. So when you're editing text in a file, what you're editing is the Emacs buffer. So right now we've got two frames, uh, four windows, and essentially one buffer open. So if you want to edit multiple files, each window is going to have to have a different buffer open, the buffer that holds the file that you want to edit. So let's take, let's say we want to edit our Emacs configuration file. We can do that several ways. We can go into our diard and we can go down to Emacs, to the .emacs file, and we can open it up. And then now we have this .emacs file open in this buffer here. So a buffer is inside of the window and the windows are inside of the frames. So if we were to have the .emacs file again open in multiple windows, the buffer would change on through in all of the different windows. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So uh, we can again go to the .emacs file and if we edit code here it gets edited here as well. So that's basically how buffers work. Uh, there is something, so in order to switch buffers there are several ways to do that. I recommend installing a couple packages but the default way again you can just you know go to the file that you want and select it through Dired, or you can actually list the current buffers that are available with Control X, Control B, and that will open up all of the buffers that are available. And so you can see this .emacs file is available. So now we've got it open again, and you can also uh, you you can also list buffers. Uh, the buffers that are also listed are, you know, stuff from Dired. So you've got a scratch buffer, this uh, default Emacs buffer, and then again we've got Dired. So you can actually open up a previous location in Dired that you were at as well. So that lists all the buffers. So if you want to switch between them, you can just do Control X, Control B, and then you can find the file that you were editing previously. This video is getting pretty long so I decided to break it up into two separate parts and part two is how to quickly switch between windows and frames using uh, wind move and frame move, there are two packages. Be sure to check out the blog post that goes with the video on Emacs and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day and be sure to subscribe to my channel.